Chapter 1 Cell The Structural and Functional Unit of Life Part 3 We were looking at the parts of the cell. Let's look at some more parts of the cell. These are the most known parts of the cell. New discoveries are happening every minute. Lysosomes Main Characteristics Membranous sacs budded off from Golgi body. We learnt about Golgi apparatus in the last session. And they contain 40 different types of enzymes. You can look, have a look at um, a picture of a lysosome here. The Golgi apparatus, there are membranous sacs which bud off from them. That becomes the primary lysosome. And fusion forms the secondary lysosome. So just have a look at that. You'll get a visual. Chief functions, intracellular digestion, destroy foreign substances. When cell is old or injured, these rapidly destroy organelles. Hence, they are called suicide bags. Formation of bones by digesting cartilages. Centrosomes, these are present in animal cells only. Main characteristics, a region surrounding the centrioles located near nucleus. Contain one or two centrioles. Centrioles are surrounded by microtubules. These are centrosomes. Okay. The chief functions are initiate and regulating cell division. Form spindle fibers with the help of asters. You'll come to know more about these terms in the coming sessions. Just have a glance right now. Okay. Plastids. Centrosomes are present in animal cells only. Plastids are present in plant cells only. Their main characteristics are as follows. There are several kinds. Most common ones are chloroplasts containing the green pigment chlorophyll. Double membraned proteinaceous matrix contain DNA. DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid. Just keep it in the back of your mind. You'll learn more about it later on. Disc-like structures called thylakoids contain chlorophyll. can have a look at this uh, cell structure. There's the cell wall, nuclear membrane, nucleolus, chromatin in nucleus, rough ER, peroxisome, chloroplast, tonoplast, vacuole, plasma lemma, smooth ER, glyoxisome, free ribosome, mitochondrion, Golgi body. Just have a glance and you'll learn about these terms more as we go on. Chief functions of plastids are impart colors to flowers and fruits. Those are known as chromoplasts. Xanthophyll is yellow and carotene is orange or red, orangish red. Chloroplasts, which are green, trap solar energy for photosynthesis. Lencoplasts store starch. Anthocyanin pigment is dissolved in cytoplasm. This is of blue-violet color. So these are the functions of various plastids, chromoplasts, chloroplasts, lincoplasts. There is xanthophyll, carotene, all those colors. Now let's come to the nucleus. Main characteristics. It is the largest cell organelle. Remember this. Largest cell organelle is the nucleus. Mostly spherical and dense. Nuclear membrane with pores to allow substances to enter and leave. It has that nuclear membrane. Contains network of thread-like structures called chromatic fibers which contain deoxyribonucleic acid that is DNA. Okay. Chief functions. Regulate cell functions. If removed, the cell dies because it's the largest cell organelle. It's very responsible in carrying out the cell functions. Contains chromosomes. Bearer of genes that control hereditary characters. Nucleolus, main characteristics, one or more round shaped nucleoli inside the nucleus. You see the cell here, there's a nucleus and inside that there are nucleolus. It's, if it's one, it's nucleolus. If there are many, it's nucleoli. Okay, singular plural form. According to the cell, the number might vary. Chief functions, produces ribosomes, participates in protein synthesis by forming and storing RNA. What is RNA? Ribonucleic acid. That's right. 
dictates ribosomes to synthesize proteins. Functions of nucleolus. Let's have a look at the chromatin structure. You'll know why you're looking at this figure later on. Just have a glance at the entire structure. Keep it at the back of your mind. There's DNA. You can see the thickness and the measurements here accordingly. Chromatin fibers. Let's learn about those. Main characteristics. The network in resting stage of the nucleus condenses into chromosomes during cell division. And it is made up of DNA threads. Okay. Chief functions. Chromosomes carry hereditary information or the genes. Hereditary information. Okay. The next two parts, namely vacuoles and granules, are non-living. These are important in their own way. So up to now, we learned about the living parts of the cell. The next two are non-living parts, but they are also important. You can see the cell here. The central vacuole is again enlarged. You can see in the central vacuole, cytosol, tonoplast, cell wall, chloroplast, and the thickness is about 5 micrometer. Just have a glance at that and then we'll learn more about this parts of the cell. Again a cross-sectional view of a cell, nucleus, nucleolus, cell membrane, cell wall, ribosomes, mitochondrion, lysosome, chloroplast, Golgi, vacuole. We learned all these um, parts. Let's learn more about this vacuole. Okay, vacuoles. Main characteristics. Clear spaces with water or other substances in solution. You saw that big space, that's very clear. Plant cells have larger vacuoles while the animal cells have fewer and smaller ones. Remember this point. The difference in the two cells are the number and the size of the vacuoles. Plant cells have larger ones while animal cells have fewer ones and they are smaller in size. Chief functions, storage of water and other substances, food, pigments and waste products. You saw that even in the main characteristics, it's clear space with water or other substances. So it has water, food, pigments, waste products. It gives turgidity to the cells. Let's look at granules. The main characteristics are they are small particles, crystals or droplets. You can just have a look at the picture here of granules. Chief functions, starch in plant cells, glycogen in animal cells and fat containing granules serve as food for the cell. Let's sum up this session. We were continuing about various parts of the cell. We learnt about lysosomes, their main characteristics, chief functions. Centrosomes, which are present in animal cells only, their characteristics and functions. Plastids, which are present in plant cells only, their main characteristics, functions. We saw some more diagrams about the cross section of the cell. We learnt about the nucleus, the largest cell organelle, its characteristics, functions. Nucleolus and their main characteristics and chief functions. We saw the chromatin fibers, their characteristics and functions, and we saw two non-living parts of the cell, the vacuoles, characteristics, functions, and the chief functions and main characteristics of granules. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. This ends the part three of the first chapter. In the next session, we'll learn about differences between plant and animal cells.